Okay, everybody, this is the Car Super B. Now, we've been waiting about, uh, about over a year on this. So there is a switch right here. That's the Super B Sting switch. And it's labeled 64, 68, and 72. And you can see from the manual here that the switch is three distinctive voices. Sorry about that. Uh, 64 is extra mid-range scoop. There's lots of shimmer. Lower gain. 68 is kind of a black face. Medium gain. 72 is increased gain and drive. And this is important. There's a different EQ, the mid-range response, uh, in the mid-range control. So if you look at this now, these are cool because you can flip this switch and the amp is, is a full 10 watts. I'm playing really low, but now you flip this switch, and this knob goes from a tenth of a watt up to two watts total. So I have the gain up here on this. I'm going to turn the guitar up. Now that's a little too much for our video, so I'm going to turn this down. That's about one watt right there. So if we put it on the 64 setting, No mids, we add mids. If you're at home, you probably want to do this and dime it, but. Okay, now the 68 switch, which is a little more punch. And this mid control. More mids will generally give you more. A little more punch, also more feedback prone at higher volumes. The 72 switch. Lots of thick mid-range. Now you can scoop out the mids if you want. Or Add more mids. Now I have this Tele Thin Line here, kind of blasting out, full blast, but... Okay, I'm going to stretch out now here, and uh, now that you've seen this, there is a volume which will act like an overdrive. You have this three-position switch. You have your treble control, your mid-range control, your bass control, and yes, there is reverb. And I'm going to turn it like this. Plenty of reverb if you want it, and uh, I'm not a reverb guy. Okay, now back to the second part of this video. I've already explained the Super B. I've got it on the low wattage setting, about mid-range, a little gr grindy right now. But this is a um, Tele Thin Line. I just got this in. This is not yet on the website. It is a white guard, and I'm going to show you this other one that has a black guard on it. But this white guard, Tele Thin Line, white guards came out, they were, they were there since the 60s, in the early 70s. About mid-74, they started adding black plastic because that was new. And so all the guitars had black plastic after mid-74. You can pretty much figure black plastic is 75 or later. These are Seth Lover pickups. That is the guy that invented pickups for Gibson. He invented the humbucking pickup. Those highly regarded Gibson PAF pickups were invented by Seth Lover, who then left Gibson and went to work for Fender, and he modified his patent, his own patent, by changing the pole pieces. So there's three pole pieces here on the base side, and then moved them down there. That got past the patent of his own product, and yet these pickups are very much more Fender-like. They are very crisp. <laughs> 
I'm going to turn down the gain a little bit here, clean this up a bit. So these pickups... There's a fullness to them because they're humbuckings and they got that bigger magnetic field, but there's also a sharpness and a definition to these, plus of course with the F hole being a thin line, it is a lighter weight, more hollow sounding instrument. <laughs> that um, it has no back holes. You can see that tellies have back holes on them from loading the strings in the back. When they come from the factory without a Bigsby, they have no holes in the back. Do you see that? Sure you do. And uh, you know what that means. It's nothing but good. I'm going to put that on standby. You wait here. We only have like a minute left before apparently you guys lose your interest. This guitar has new frets. This guitar is pretty beat up, but it's really beat up in a cool way. So I'm going to plug this back in and uh, play it really quick before I let you go. But we've got these two Telecaster Thin Lines in stock. People ask me a lot, what do they sound like? They sound like Fenders and with a little more oomph and a little more balls. Uh, but they just don't quite have the oomph of a Gibson because of large part because of the wood. But you could get them to clean up. We're going to turn this down, clean it up, add a little reverb. <laughs> Fat, tubby, yet really nice upper mid-range, very good distinction. Uh, we'll clean that switch. That one, the other one, we just got in. It needs string changing and cleaning up. We'll get it on the website soon. But that's all for now. First the Super V, then a couple of Tele Thin Lines. But wait, there's more. Later like in another video. Okay, go.